The next feature that we're going to be looking at is the craft animation tools. Now it's significantly easier to create believable complex vehicle simulations and natural camera movements that mimic real world setups. We're going to be using the craft tools to animate this Jeep around our environment. So we'll start off by creating a new four wheel vehicle simulator and aligning our Jeep to it. Next we're going to go ahead and adjust the overall radius of our simulated wheels so that they better match the radius of the Jeep's wheels and we'll begin to make a relationship between the high-res Jeep geometry and the low-res simulated geometry. So this is just a simple process inside of Maya of dragging and dropping. So I've already done the front wheels and now I'm doing the back wheels. With that completed, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and define the ground plan on which this simulated vehicle is going to run. So we'll grab this arrow and we'll drag and drop that onto our ground plane. Now all the setup work is done, we can go ahead and hide that low-res geometry and just watch the simulation play back on our high-res Jeep. We'll bring up the inputs window, and this is where you can go ahead and attach your rigs to joysticks or other input devices, and enabling the animator an intuitive way to drive the vehicles or cameras while automatically recording the paths. For this example, we're going to go ahead and use a keyboard input device. So my arrow keys will give me my forward and backwards movement, left and right obviously will turn the vehicle, and then my control key goes ahead and works the brake. We go and we go into a record mode, and just a second here you'll see that Right off the bat, my car starts uh, simulating. So if I drive it around by using my arrow keys here, you can see that we have some nice natural movement. Obviously, if we go and bring this window over here, and kind of pull back a little bit, you can see there's some terrain for my, for my truck to kind of run up on here, my little Jeep, so I can kind of drive it up over here and bring it around, maybe reverse it back. So really, really fast, very intuitive, easy to set up car simulator. And the next thing that we want to look at is how we can use some of the camera animation tools inside of the Craft Director Studio to ease that workflow. So let's go ahead and create another type of camera. In this case, we're going to go ahead and create a soft motion camera. So there you can see it's in my environment. We'll go ahead and we'll view through that soft motion camera. And I want to just begin framing up this vehicle. I want to get kind of a back three-fourths view of my truck here, something sort of like that jump over to my perspective view, you can kind of see where that is. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this camera and parent it into the hierarchy of that vehicle so it's going to chase it. And the thing that the soft motion cam is going to give me is it's going to give me kind of a nice dampened effect or soft motion effect of that camera movement chasing that truck around while we begin to drive it. So let's go ahead and bring back up my uh, tools here. We can go back to a full screen mode, turn the record back on. And you can see uh, as I start to move this around here, there's a little bit of give, a little bit of sway, maybe turn the brakes on. So it's not exactly parented into the hierarchy of that truck. We have this nice little bobble, that nice little effect happening as we drive that vehicle around. So that's just a couple of examples of how you can use the craft animation tools to help you do complex vehicle simulations and really, really cool smooth camera movements. Mm -hmm.